Hey YouTubers, Steven here. Uh, weather's beautiful outside. I don't know what the temperature is. It's low 20 degrees Celsius anyways. Um, today, Project Green Marine, I'm going to take this opportunity while my pool is filling. I uh, filmed a little clip there about cleaning up the pool, getting it ready, opening up. So, today, I'm just going to go over a little bit of the mechanical. We're outside. Uh, the weather's warmer, so I'm starting to really get into it now. And today I'm just going to show you a bit of, you know, uh, what I'm doing. Basically, part of my mechanics, okay, is pillow block with the bearing. Bring that up a little closer. And universal joints. All right, this is three-quarter inch to three-quarter inch. I figured, you know what? Go heavy duty. Uh, there's probably not going to be that much torque on it. But uh, you never know, right? So I'm going to show you my little setup here. This is how I figure it's going to work. Now I drew out some lines and everything, you know, hoping that um, just guesstimating where everything was going to be would work out. You know, pretty close. Pretty close. So I'm not going to make any final cuts on the wood yet until. Uh, until I actually have all the bolt holes in it. So uh, let me bring you over and I'll, I'll show you what I've got set up. Okay, it's a fairly simple, straightforward idea, and I'm sure it'll work. Um, I got the idea from my friend Sonny. Uh, so I'm going to use three quarter inch steel pipe or tube, and um, I'm going to cut it hopefully to the right length so that I can keep this as tight as possible. But basically, I'm going to have a sprocket in the front, up here, and then I'm, it's going to come and turn 45 degrees, have another pillow block, and then come out, turn another 45 degrees, and I'll have another sprocket up here. Now, when I go to buy my bolts, I'm going to buy them probably about two and a half to three inches. I think three inches is going to be a bit long. But this is three quarter inch plywood. I want this to really be thick. I want this to be solid so it, it's not pulling on the bottom of the boat when I actually mount it. And, <clears throat> but I need to bring this up off the bottom, of course, so that uh, it has space for the universals to spin. Uh, and also so that I have clearance for the sprocket as well. Now, just feeling my hand down here, it may be just high enough if it was mounted flush to the uh, plywood. But think better safe than sorry. I'll get uh, some longer bolts and I'll get some heavy washers that I'll put down in between and, and some uh, uh, nuts just to give it a bit of a space. And then uh, once this is all the holes are drilled and I've got all the pieces uh, cut out for the uh, steel tubing, then, uh, then I'll mount piece by piece and then mark all my, my actual 45 degree lines just so that everything is straight, neat and tidy. Uh, once everything is mounted, then I'll mark off my lines and actually take this through the table saw and make the, uh, the plywood pieces as small as possible, but to make sure that I've got enough space, you know, to put, you know, some good bolts down through the bottom of the boat so that it doesn't move anywhere. Okay, so for the right angle, cutting all my, my steel rods at four inches.
mocked up the plywood okay and I've drilled out my holes and basically all I did was I just laid everything out on top of um, the plywood like this basically run all my shafts through it here's one of my shafts um, it's, uh, it's cut at four inches and then I uh, took the edges all to the uh, bench grinder smoothed it all out and then just to make it all square uh, I measured the distance between this hole and the edge so that it, it would be squared up here I also measured how far from this drill hole to the edge and then squared it out here as well so all this with the squiggly lines I'm going to cut off on the um, table saw that way that this area is as small as it can be but at the same time I've still got space in through here to bolt it to the bottom of the uh, to the boat so now on to the next step uh, is to take out all the set screws on my bearings uh, bolt everything back down and then mark all the all the shafts um, I think I got a couple of shafts here that I have marked okay I've got an arrow this is the end where the um, uh, sprocket is going to attach and I put a line to where it should sit on the bearing and then on the other end you can see I've already marked it um, where I'm going to drill it for the set screw for the uh, universal joints so uh, let's get this going and, and we'll come back Okay, so what I'm doing here is I needed extra space on top of um, on top of the wood because what I found was when I put in my bolts, um, I put in a couple of washers, but um, <clears throat> the universal joint kept catching the wood. So, to, in order to go to a longer bolt, um, I had to go with one that's got a smooth shank on it. Hopefully that's in the picture, and it, you, of course, you know that's on the bottom. Not quite enough threads on that, which is okay because then that just means that I uh, use more washers and it's higher up. Now I'm using 12 five sixteenth washers, and these are five sixteenth bolts. They're two and a half inches, and my idea or the reason why I'm putting all the bolts or the nuts on the bolts now is that when these are secured to the plywood and this is mounted in the boat if I have to change one of the universal joints or one of the the bearings all I got to do is undo the top nut this shaft doesn't move um, or bolt if you want to call it that and these are all lined up they're all counted So now I'm finally starting to put this all back together. Now I just gotta tighten all these nuts up. And these washers were a lot cheaper than actually buying a steel shaft. I mean I could have, I could have went with steel tubing, cut them all at exactly the same length and kind of wedged it in there, but when I looked at it it cost me six dollars for a hundred washers. Um, that, that's a pretty good deal considering that um, I think the steel tubing, um, I think it only comes in um, quarter inch and half inch and three quarter inch. Um, this was a lot cheaper anyways because the steel tubing uh, I think is uh, around nine dollars. 
Uh, so the washers were definitely the, the cheaper way to go. So, be back in a minute. All right, so now we got it all mounted. <clears throat> See exactly how we're going. I was calling these pillow block bearings. They're actually steady bearings, but it's a bearing regardless. And it actually works. Now, give me one second. And the idea, okay, now I gotta take this all apart again so I can drill out all the top screws. Um, there's two on each bearing. There's one on each end of the universal joints, but the idea, I don't know which way it would be better to mount this. Uh, I got a buddy of mine who's going to help me do some welding, um, who also has basically taken a canoe and made a, uh, a drivetrain for a human power boat that actually lives here in the city. Hey Corey, what's up? Um, and if he wants, I'll put a, a link on um, on this video for uh, his YouTube channel where he's got a couple of short videos where he's out uh, testing his, his canoe. But uh, the idea is weld a sprocket on either end. That way it comes down, down from the pedals onto here, makes my 90 degree turn, and then comes up to my to one of my two sprockets that are in the back. Not that you can see my hand above the lens. Alright, so drill these out Put it all back together and then uh, it'll be complete and then we'll move on to the next part uh, making the propellers <laughs> 